All right, guys, we're back with another one, and uh, this one's gonna be short. I gotta make this fence a little taller back here. And these posts right here that I zoomed into, those are inch and five eighths. I'm gonna show you how to make those a little taller. Real easy trick. So I was looking online and I've seen where they're selling um, fence post extenders that mount to your, your uh, railing that goes across. I don't like that idea because it seems like it could just fall over because that railing isn't really stable unless you, you like weld it up or something. But eh, it just it doesn't really look that good to me. I've also seen the, the fence post extenders that have one end that's kind of um, expanded out where you can just set it on the post. but. It only has, looks like, maybe two inches, and that seems like once you put it on there, that it would wobble. Um, so what I did, I measured my fence post, which is an inch and five eighths um, outside diameter. Inside diameter is about an inch and a half. So I went to uh, my local metal supplier here in the city, and I found this this uh, metal pipe, inch and a half. Um, Pretty much the same thickness walls as what I already have, and fits in there. Fits in there pretty, uh, pretty tight. Not, not so tight though that. See, it, it still moves. I want it in there pretty snug. So what I did um, before I put this pipe in this one, I got a little punch, and uh, there's a few spots where I just. Put some indentations on the pipe you know four or five spots you got to hit it pretty hard and then you can slip that pipe in there and it'll fit in there tight and then of course you'll uh, for the other end it's going to be a different story i haven't figured that out yet but this is going to be the pipe that sits on there so gravity is going to do its thing it'll stay in there um and i don't know i might I haven't figured out how I'm going to secure it. Maybe I'm thinking either getting my welder out there, which means I'd have to have a longer, longer um, cables, or using some sort of um, like sheet metal screws that are self-drilling, or even drilling a little hole myself, um, and uh, just just sticking a screw through there that way it, it stabilizes it but you get the idea these are for uh, metal roofs um, and they're they are self self drilling self tapping uh, but I would probably drill a small hole first because you're going through quite a bit of metal um, so for the other end where this is going this is going to be the side that goes inside the post that's already out there in the ground maybe go ahead and set it on there and drill a little small hole and then just stick one screw in there and that ought to hold it and then um as far as water that's another thing i don't want water getting inside there um i need some kind of sealant i don't know i don't know jb weld maybe um but it's looks pretty good better than uh, having to tear down the whole fence and put up new posts and everything and then on the top side of the fence because we're raising the railing the railing which is right you know runs across the fence we're raising it up raising it up uh, about two feet all the way around and then we're gonna put that railing or that railing that fencing right there which is cow panels um, up top because it's a little more rigid than chain link anyway i'll let you guys know how it how it goes put some pictures up whenever we uh, get these posts up put the frame up and everything first and then do the fence panel but uh i think this is going to look pretty good um, of course you could you could put something on the outside too either way was would work for me um, i'm not real picky good way to save a little money unless you want something to look you know really really good like if you're in an HOA neighborhood or something but um, for us this works all day long
Thank you.